Hello, it's Polish Paul VR, and this is a video of Honor and Duty D-Day being played with 3D Ruder and Move Controllers. So, as you can see, the walking is done by 3D Ruder and then aiming is done by Move. Of course, Honor and Duty supports aim controller as well, but for if you want, you can play it with 3D Ruder as well. It supports all of the controllers you want to. I'm assuming it will come handy for riding vehicles and aiming. And now let me give you some more info about the controller, because you've been asking me in my last video about it. So yes, it does look like it's plugs in. I don't think it's getting connected via Bluetooth, so it might be just the case of another cable in your living room. Regarding the reception of it, I can see where it's going. It's very pricey. Some of you still will buy it, but some of you just decided not to already. Some of you gonna wait for review. Sadly, I tried to contact them for like five different occasions on email and Twitter, but had no response, so I gonna pre-order mine and try to review it as soon as I can. So if you on the fence for it then just wait for my review I gonna try to show off some more videos of gameplay from different games while using 3D Ruder controller but that's Honor and Duty for you of course this game gonna be released very soon they shooting for end of the month but they might not make it we just have to wait and see but there's definitely gonna be another beta with tanks and then the game should drop it was very interesting to read your comments a lot of them of course saying we just need move controllers with foam sticks and I cannot agree more. Why don't we just get move controllers with foam sticks? Those moves do their job but definitely I hate the fact that you have to press the buttons to move around. So definitely for me I'm looking forward to 3D Ruder. It's gonna support over 30 games where it, when it releases. And also the word from few developers I've heard 3D Ruder is very, very easy to implement in games. It's not taking much time and it's not taking much resources. So more games should support it. Keep writing in comment section what you think about this device. And of course, I keep be providing the videos for you as it's pricey device. I want to cover it as much as I can before release date, before I can put my hands on it. So at least you can know what to expect. And then of course, when it drops, I do the review and that's it. Bye.